Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be going over um, properties, well basic properties of parts and objects inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first of all, obviously you have to import a part. Uh, but once you've got a part in, you can see over here you have the properties tag. So um, if I was to close this down, you can if you don't have this, you can go up to view up here and you can see you have these two things over here. So the the two main things that you need for like building a game inside of Roblox Studio is the Explorer and the Properties tag. We're going to focus on the Properties tag today. So I'm going to click on the Properties and you can see it will show up. Now it may not be there, it may be in other places for you. Like I know um, some people like to have it down here or you know uh, other places. But I like to have mine down the bottom underneath uh, the Properties tab, uh, underneath the Explorer, sorry. So, as you can see, if you're selecting nothing, you would have nothing on the properties tag. But if I was to select this part, for instance, uh, you can see I get all of these different options of uh, of the properties. So, first of all, we're just going to go over the basics and, yeah, I don't know, I'm going to tell you what they mean and everything like that. So, first of all, let's just jump straight to the name. So, obviously, you can, you know what that is. That's where you name the part. Now, you can name it down here. Okay, obviously, there are other ways you can do it. So, I can right-click on this and I can go um, rename or I could do uh, double-click on the name. Uh, yep, there you go. And you can see I can rename it from there. But from the properties tag, this is where you edit it. So, I can name it test1 let's say, and you can see it's named it test1 up in the explorer. So now we have color. Now color, there is another way to do it, and that's by going up to uh, here, the color tag. It's on model, and it's there on model, and it's also on home, and it's there on home. And what you can do is you can click on the bottom arrow down here, and you get these color shapes, or color, you know, uh, this these colors basically that you can choose from so i'm going to choose for a nice little red let's go for let's go for bright red or really red and you, as you can see up here we have the same thing with really red so i can select this and i get the colors again and when we do it from this we can have a live uh feed or uh, color change and also down here we have more colors and this is where we can also change RGB. So if I was to go 000, zero, zero you would get really black. So this is RGB and we can also click on this and we can double click on this and you, as you can see we can change the color from here as well. Okay so now we have the material. So the material is always right next to the color so you can see it's right next to the color and model and also inside of the home. And what we can do is we can do the bottom arrow again and we have a list of all the different types of uh, textures or materials that we can use. So I'm gonna go for, uh, let's go for a Hmm. Let's go for brick. So now we have a brick pattern on t on our part. So yeah, but then we can also change it from the properties tag down here uh, by doing material, and then we also have all the names like a list down here of them all. So we can click the bottom arrow and that the arrow facing downwards, and that will lead us and have a drop down tag where we can find all the names and we can change them from there, as you can see from here. Okay, so now onto the transparency and the reflectance. Okay, so the reflectance is where, like, how shiny it is in a way. So if I was to do, um, let's do something like uh, plastic, let's say, and I was to put this up to one, you can see, now we can see the sky, because it's reflecting so much that we can see the whole sky. But then if we were to do 0 0.5, we get a faint reflectancy. So as you can see, if I'm looking on this, you can see the sky above. And then the transparency is how transparent it is. So if we can see through it or not. So how how much we can see through it. So if I was to change the transparency to 1, that's that's basically invisible. Now we can't see it. So if I have to click off it and you can you can see I can't see it anymore until I hover over it and I can select it again. But then we can do like 0 0.5 like this. So sometimes we wanted to do say we want to do a car windshield. We could do 0 0.5 or 0 0.3. Let's do 0 0.6 actually. And then we can do reflectancy maybe uh, not any of those but 0. 
uh, three, let's say. And now we have like a windshield if we were to paint this like white or something, or maybe even black. But you get what I'm on about. Okay, so now we've done the appearance, we can go over to the data. Now the data is where you have the name, orientation, parent, position, and other stuff. But we're just gonna go over the position today because it's one of the basic things in here. So position is obviously, as you can see, the position of this object. So if I was to move it, you can see the position is being changed from the X, Y, Z. So basically, look, if I was to come up here and I was to go to uh, view, and I was to go uh, view sector up here, up here, now you can see we have the X, Y, and Z on the top corner of my screen. So, um, if I was to click on these, you can see I can switch uh, my camera angle. So that's also a, uh, a cool thing that you can try out for yourselves. But if I was to change, so well, if I was to change this, so if we were to do um, one like this, you'd see it move it over here on the uh, x axis, x axis, and then if I was to do um, this and change this to one you can see it's done that on the y-axis it it's moved it up a little bit more and then if i was to do it on the z-axis you can see it will move it on the z-axis over towards me so yeah that's basically the position okay so now we can go over to behavior after we've done the data and we can uh, have a look at some of these so anchored I have gone over that in my other videos but not so much detail basically you have another way of doing it and that's by doing it up here by clicking anchor on uh, the home page or even on the model page but um, over here in the properties tag, you can also change it. And what it does is it means, say this object was floating in the air. If I was to run this program right now without it, without the part being anchored, you can see it drops to the ground. That's because it it has it has a weight basically. It will drop. It, it has gravity on it. But anchored means it will stay in one position. So if I was to check anchored right now and I was to run the program again you'd see that it stays in one place and now it's floating in the air. And then can collide, we'll go over that as well. So can collide means whether a uh, object or a person can collide with it. So let's move this in the air. And since we have it anchored, as you can see up here and also uh, down here, if I was to run this program play here, which also means it'll play, it'll spawn the character where your camera is, you can see I can hit it and I can walk into it. But then if I was to go back over to the workspace and select it now, and I was to change it to can collide off, now, if I was to come back into the game, I can walk through it, as you can see right here. Then I turn it back on again, and I, can, I can't walk through it. You can see I can stand on top, then I turn it off, and I can drop through. Okay, so now down here, we can just change the size. So the size is obviously the size of the part. So we can go ahead and change these different uh, sides of it. So the height, the width, and the length. And that's what these parts down here mean. So I can change the size over here to 10. And you can see it changes the size over there uh, with the length. And then I can go over here and change that to 10 do the 10 on the height, and then we can do 10 on the width as well. And now we have a big square. But you can also change the size from going up here. Now up here is also some tool tags. So we can also move these like this with the arrow keys. So that's this little move tool over here. Scale, we can, uh, we can change these sizes from these different parts, uh, what the different uh, orbs, I'd like to say, with the X, Y, and Z coordinates. And then we also have the rotate tool where we can rotate it on the X, Y, and Z. So you can see I can rotate it this way, I can rotate it this way, I can rotate it this way. You know, we can rotate it any, any ways. And that's basically the basics of doing properties or using the properties tag uh, for objects inside of Roblox Studio. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And also, just before I uh, head out, I'm going to tell you that I'll be uh, shortly 
uh, soonly be doing longer videos. So I'll be doing 20 minute videos, you know, more 10 minute videos, uh, longer videos for you guys to watch so you can spend longer and uh, I'll go into more detail and everything like that. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.